there are several different ways you can go about capturing your VR gameplay with the Quest 2. You can record directly to the headset, or you can cast your gameplay and record it with a PC. The easiest way by far is to record directly to the headset, so let's take a look at that first. This method can be used to record both standalone and PC VR gameplay. I'm just going to be demonstrating it with some standalone games because for the purpose of this video, it's just going to be quicker and easier to do that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is press the Oculus button on our right controller to bring up the menu bar. We then want to press the camera button here, and that will bring up the camera menu. In the upper right here is the recording button. Mine has the little red light showing here because I'm recording this right now, so I can show you this. If I were to click this right now, it would stop my recording, which I don't want to do. But you'll want to click on this button, and that will bring up the record video window. Uh, this toggle switch here allows you to choose whether you want to record the headset's mic audio or not, along with your gameplay. So you can narrate or commentate as you're playing and not have to worry about recording your voice separately. Once you're ready to start recording, you can click the Start Recording button, and the Quest will begin recording your gameplay. By default, the Quest 2 captures at 24 FPS at a resolution of 1024 by 1024 using a bitrate of 5 megabits per second. While this looks okay, you may prefer your captures to be in widescreen, and thankfully Oculus has made this fairly easy for us to do. If you click on the Time here on your menu bar, that will bring up the Quick Settings menu. You'll then want to click on the Settings button here at the upper right. Then click on System, and then on Camera. These first couple of options we're not going to worry about. What we're interested in is these guys down here at the bottom. Under Aspect Ratio, we can switch to Landscape, which switches the capture resolution to 1920 by 1080 As I'm sure you know, this is your normal widescreen 1080p TV resolution, uh, like the capture you're watching right now. And the other option is for portrait mode, which in my opinion is a complete and total abomination and should never be used. Because motion pictures have always been horizontal. Televisions are horizontal. Computer screens are horizontal. People's eyes are horizontal. But anyway, if you want to defy the laws of nature and make Instagram reels or whatever, the option is there for you. I love vertical video. Nobody cares about you. So below that, we have our frame rate, which there's only two options here, 24 FPS and 36 FPS. And below that is probably one of the most important options, the bit rate. The higher the bit rate is, the better the image quality of your capture will be. There is, of course, a trade-off. That being the higher the bit rate, the larger your video files will be. Uh, but in my opinion, it's always best to capture the sharpest image possible. So if it were me, I would set it to 20 megabits per second. There is a way to record at even higher resolutions, higher frame rates, and higher bit rates. But it's a bit more complex than this. If you're interested though, I have a video showing how to do that popping up in the cards right now. As for some of these other options, there's eye selection, which can be important depending on the type of game you're playing. When recording, you're either capturing what is being displayed to your left or right eye. You don't get the nice centered view like you get in real life or with a flat screen game. Where this typically makes a difference is when looking through the scope of a sniper rifle or something like that. If you sight through a scope using your right eye and you have left eye selected in the capture settings here, when you're looking through your scope, this is what your recording is going to look like. If you're wanting your capture to show the crosshairs lined up on the target and stuff like that, then you'll want to select right eye in this setting. The other option, image stabilization, helps your recordings look smoother when people are watching them back. It's just a fact of life that we don't hold super still. There's a lot of very small amounts of jitter to our head movements, so turning this on can help stabilize your footage, making it more tolerable for those people that are watching it. Coming back to our recording now, once you've captured the gameplay you want, you'll press the Oculus button on your right controller again, click on camera, and this time when you click on the recording button, it will end your recording. 
Like I said earlier, you can use this same process to record PC VR footage too. However, it's a little bit more of a pain because you have to exit Quest Link, come back to the Quest home environment, start up your recording, launch Quest Link again, play your game, and then exit all the way back out again to end the recording. Once you've captured the footage you want though, your videos will show up here in the camera roll, and you can click the three dots and share them to Facebook if you want, but more than likely you're going to want to copy these to your PC and edit them, so let's show you how to do that. Just like recording on the Quest, this is super easy. You just plug your Quest 2 into your PC using a USB cable. Then you'll need to put your headset on real quick because we need to allow our PC to access the files on our Quest 2 so we can copy them over and edit them. Now when we go to File Explorer, we should see our Quest 2 on the list here. We can click on that, then on Internal Shared Storage, then on Oculus, then Video Shots, and here's all our recordings. You can then copy them over to your PC, load them up into your video editor of choice, and do with them what you will. If your Quest 2 doesn't show up in File Explorer after you've allowed your PC access to your headset files, a simple restart of your Quest 2 and plugging it back into your computer and granting access again should fix it. While this is all great for making videos for YouTube, you might be wanting to live stream your Quest 2 gameplay to Twitch or YouTube. Rather than drag this video on any longer though, that you can learn how to do in this video right here. Subscribe!